Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us for the next episode of the Rocky Mountain Myrick Short Takes on Suicide Prevention podcast. I'm your host, Adam Hoffberg, and joining us today are a few guests coming to us from a project called The Critical Project, and we're going to learn a little bit more about our guests and the work that they're doing. So um, welcome, Nate, John, and Julia. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Thanks. So, Nate, let's have you uh, start us off. Uh, Dr. Nate Mohat is with the Rocky Mountain Myrek. He's a suicide prevention researcher and community psychologist. Uh, let us know a little bit about yourself, Nate. Sure. So, I am also a assistant professor at the University of Colorado School of Medicine in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Um, and in that role, I am working on some traumatic brain injury uh, research. and so a central theme of my research and work really is around uh, empowering the people who are most we most commonly think of as our study subjects or participants, really putting them more in the driver's seat when it comes to research and giving them a voice as advisors and leaders in the research enterprise. And how about yourself, John? Uh, yeah, Adam, I'm John Corrigan. I'm a professor in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Ohio State University, and I've been a clinician and a re researcher working in brain injury rehabilitation for uh, some 35 plus years. Uh, and uh, it was uh, I was very pleased when Nate uh, invited me to be part of this project. Excellent. We're so glad to have you on the show today. And um, also our guest on here is Julia Turlinchamp. Um, tell us about yourself, Julia. Hi, I um, am a traumatic brain injury survivor. I uh, have had this injury 14 years this Christmas. So my, my, my anniversary is in a couple weeks. Um, and I took a few years to get back on my feet. And um, I have had a very long process in healing. And um, as many people with traumatic brain injury traumatic brain injuries understand that it's, it's a it's something that you experience the rest of your life so being able to be part of a study like this is very meaningful because it's understanding that it's not just about the acute care but about the long-term care excellent well we look forward to uh diving into that more with you as we uh go into this podcast today um before we do that we're going to turn back to nate for a moment just to kind of give us a little bit background uh the project's called critical Nate, tell us about the project and your funding source and how you all uh, initiated this work. Sure. Well, first of all, CRITICAL stands for the Coalition for Recovery and Innovation in Traumatic Brain Injury Care Across the Lifespan. And CRITICAL was funded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research by a Eugene Washington Patient Engagement Award with the objective of um, looking at long-term uh, recovery and care. So not just immediate post-injury or two years post-injury, but how people live with a traumatic brain injury for the rest of their life and what their care needs might be. Um, and so our project objectives were really threefold. First, we wanted to establish the critical as a coalition of stakeholders and develop their capacity to collaborate together on clinical effectiveness research. Uh, research. Uh, secondly, we wanted to work with this group to develop strategies and resources to really engage individuals with cognitive impairments and traumatic brain injury survivors uh, to be effective research advisors. And third, we wanted to develop a national research agenda for improving the lives of those living with traumatic brain injury. And so, you know, that all said, our project activities really involved bringing these group of stakeholders together. We had six traumatic brain injury survivors uh, to be part of this project. They had to have sustained a moderate to a severe traumatic brain injury. Um, and two caregivers of individuals who had um, very severe traumatic brain injuries. We also had uh, seven uh, individuals who we often identify as stakeholder partners who, are, who were either researchers, clinicians, or policy advocates in the traumatic brain injury field nationally. 
And we brought this group together uh, in multiple meetings. We had three in-person workshops. We did interviews and online surveys in between the workshops and um, really worked with them over the period of the year to uh, try out different training and engagement tools to see what worked best for really getting the voice of the TBI survivors and caregivers heard as well as to build towards developing a set of research priorities based upon this group's feedback. Excellent. Thanks for that introduction. And, you know, I'm so glad you are doing this work and really putting the patient right at the center, which is what patient-centered outcomes research is all about. So, Julia, I wanted to turn to you. Um, as a traumatic brain injury survivor, what does it mean to you that this research is patient-centered? I think what stands out is the fact that we were invited as um, people with with knowledge and experiences that, that could be used in an effective manner um, in, in research. Typically, you're, you get pretty accustomed in the, the medical community to being treated based on your injury or impairment and not as um, a person, as a patient. And, and this is understandable as there's a lot of us <laughs> that are being treated, but um, the fact that, especially with a 